Do you know what's the absolute worst feeling in the world? Riding your bike happily, going back from the gym when suddenly you make a weird movement with your hand and your earbud just falls down to the ground. You stop your bike, you're looking for it for like 15 minutes until you realize that it fell down the street gutter. Well, unfortunately, that's what happened to me a while back and so I was super happy when Soundpeats contacted me and uh, they sent me a free sample of their latest budget-friendly earbuds and they are none other than the Air 3 Deluxe HS. Um, a little bit of a long name, we're probably gonna stick to the Air 3. So I'll be tasting these bad boys for a little bit over a week and then come up with an honest review and opinion about these budget earbuds here. And with the magic of editing, see you in about a week. Now, when do I most frequently use earbuds? Well, that would be the gym and I usually go about three times per week to the gym and my gym sessions are about an hour and a half long. So I can't ever, you know, deplete the battery life of these earbuds. But even if you are using them for a prolonged period of time, the case itself has 300 milliamp hours of battery, while each earbud has about 30 milliamp hours of battery. So the earbud plus the case should give you about 20 hours of listening time, which is kind of awesome, especially if you are using them like me on a frequent basis of around three or four times per week whenever you're traveling or whenever you're going to the gym or on the bus or something like that. But let's talk more build quality. About the case, I would say that this matte white finish here from the ones that I got from Soundbeats is kind of nice, it doesn't look too cheap in my hands and it's a little bit lightweight, it's a little bit on the lighter side at 40 grams uh, with the earbuds inside and each of the earbuds is about uh, 7 grams in weight. The earbuds themselves feel pretty lightweight and I wouldn't say that they give off such a premium feeling or anything like that but for me the important part is that they just do not fall out of my ears and when it comes to that I can assure you that these earbuds will not fall out of your ears it's just almost impossible to make them fall out unless you know something like this trick but in the end I would say decent materials, decent weight and I'm really loving them so far but how about the sound of these earbuds? I'm not gonna waste your time with technical specifications, I'm gonna just list them here on the screen so you can take a look and if you're interested of course, but what I want to talk about is the feeling when I'm wearing these earbuds and how do they feel and how do they sound according to myself. So in my own personal opinion, I think that these earbuds sit a little bit more loosely on your ears, of course without falling, and this while cancelling the noise around you cannot do it completely, so you would uh, have to either crank up the volume or just go to a quieter place. So my personal preference when it comes to how high the volume should go, uh, I go a little bit over the middle ground on my smartphone and I find it perfectly fine. That might vary depending on who is wearing these headphones, just don't crank them up all the way up otherwise your eardrums are gonna burst. These are pretty loud. Don't get me wrong, the sound is amazing, these uh, headphones have just the right amount of bass, just the right amount of clarity in the sounds, in the high, in the mid tones, in the low tones and everything else possible. I've been testing them with a few different types of songs and I was very pleasantly surprised by these earbuds, especially in the gym where I am using them every single day. But in the end, personal opinion is all that matters. I might like them for a reason, you might like them for a different one or you might not like them at all. But the point here is that these are 40 euro earbuds and this makes them like at least three times less expensive than your top of the end earbuds out there. Speaking about comfortability, I would like to make a quick comparison with my previous earbuds that I unfortunately lost down the drain as you know. And when it comes to that, my previous earbuds were sitting a lot tighter on my ear and they created that sort of tightness around me. They were also heavier and uh, compared to that, these things, I barely feel them on my head. They're super lightweight and the sound quality is more or less the same from what my previous earbuds had. So I'll definitely give these a 9 out of 10 when it comes to comfortability and I think that they deserve that. So let's test the microphones of these earbuds and Soundpeats claims that they have 4 microphones here, like 2 per earbud, which is insane. And um, I'm not so sure about the audio quality because I have to edit this video later, but you can be the judge of that. All right, let's add some noise from the kitchen ventilator, as I like to call it, even though I have zero idea what the name of this thing is. 
And now I will talk on top of it so we can see how this noise cancellation handles all the noise around me. But as always, you be the judge guys, do you think that the noise cancellation is actually good or no? This thing is pretty loud. Now, if I have convinced you to buy these awesome earbuds, there will be a link down below in the description where you can buy them with a 20% off discount plus another 5% discount if you apply my coupon code that you can also find again in the description and also in a pinned comment down below. Oh, a great feature about these earbuds would be the gaming mode which would reduce your input lag up until 60 milliseconds of response time and that I think is quite awesome. My previous earbuds also had this and it's a lifesaver, especially when you're playing some games or you want to listen to something without any delay. These earbuds work with the Soundpeats app that you can download for iOS or Android from your Play Store or App Store. And uh, it's a little bit clunky, but once you set up everything in that app, you can control the equalizer, you can set up custom presets, you can activate your gaming mode and a bunch of other stuff from inside of this app. So I think it's gonna enhance your experience and you wouldn't have to use the inbuilt controls of the earbuds that frequently. When it comes to the touch controls of these earbuds, you have a couple of things that you can do. For example, tapping one time would increase or decrease the volume, tapping two times would stop or play the song and tapping three times will activate or deactivate the gaming mode. Unfortunately, I still haven't figured out how to change the song to the previous or the next one, but I'm pretty sure there is a touch control for that as well. So, speaking pros and cons when it comes to these earbuds, well, I'll definitely say that one, it is their battery life. The battery life is extremely good on these earbuds, you probably are not gonna have problems with that. The sound quality is also great and I like that they are super lightweight but at the same time they don't fall out of my ears. But what about the cons? Well, one huge con would be that the noise isolation. There is some but I don't think it's enough and I think that if you don't raise up the volume high enough you're going to still be able to hear everything that's happening around you and that can be sort of annoying sometimes but it's not a deal breaker for me. Another con would be the touch controls which do not always work as intended and I am not so sure why but when they do it's okay. <laughs> but that aside guys, tell me what you think about these earbuds down in the comments below. Don't forget to take advantage of my discount in the description and in the, comment, the pinned comment down below. And if you enjoyed this video I would really appreciate it if you like it or subscribe to my channel. And you can also watch some of these videos here. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day and week ahead. Bye bye.